there, welcome back to Old World Home. My name is Hillary, I'm so glad you're here. Every year around this time, I get the urge to really deep clean our minivan. After winter is ended, we're getting into spring, we're still, you know, doing school, but also park days and also, you know, days playing in the water. And we've been caught a couple times where I wish I had things in my car and I haven't fully done that sort of you know, transition into spring and summer and getting the car prepped and ready for all of that fun that's to come. So I finally took the time to really address our minivan, get it really deep cleaned, number one, get rid of all of the mulch and sand and all sorts of stuff that just accumulates on the floors and in the car seats, cracker crumbs, all that stuff get it all wiped down, and then stock it so that I am prepped and ready for those fun days ahead. I think doing this and setting yourself up for success is a great thing for all moms that are going to be, you know, having kids at home during the summer. But also for us personally, we are welcoming baby number four at the end of June. So I wanted to just have this deep clean done so that we are ready to install the car seat when we need to. We might rearrange the seating, but for now I just wanted to have it clean. So come along with me as I deep clean and organize and stock up our minivan. This van is not some high-end luxury vehicle. It is simply a tool to get us from point A to point B. It is reliable, it runs fantastic, and it's completely paid for. So I just really like to take the time to really care for it properly. Of course, when you have children, there's going to be messes. That's just part of life. But you don't have to just be surrounded by mess all the time and just decide that that is what your life is going to be. You can take an afternoon, clean things out, wipe them down, and no matter what the age of your vehicle, or your home for that matter, clean is almost always free. You can whip out the shop vac or take it to a gas station and use their vacuum, use some all-purpose spray, just really get in those nooks and crannies, and I promise you, it'll make your 10 plus year old car feel like a new vehicle and you really do appreciate things so much more when you put in the time and effort to make them lovely, to make them clean, and to just care for them. Another option is to just treat yourself to a car detailing, maybe for you know a Mother's Day gift, a birthday gift, or just something that you like to do on occasion. And if you have a power washer, I highly recommend take out your floor mats spray them all down, they will look like brand new again. All right, so starting in the front of the car, in the passenger seat door, I keep our first aid kit. And this is definitely my first essential, is to have this well stocked and ready for the summertime. So I just refilled with fresh band-aids. The large size are really good for when they scrape their knees and smaller sizes for littler cuts. We also have some gauze in here. I picked up one of these Neosporin to go so that it's just really easy. You don't have to deal with a cap or anything like that. Scissors, tweezers for splinters or ticks or something like that. And I also like to keep nail clippers because sometimes they just have a hang nail or something or you need it and it's just really handy to have it with you. Also in the passenger area, my next essentials are here in the glove box. So I always have a pack of wipes. These are great for, you know, all sorts of things that you need something cleaned and also a bag of bags and these are just gallon sized plastic bags again for like diapers or garbage or anything where you don't want it sitting around in your car and you can easily put it in a bag and get rid of it. I also have a pull up and some spoons and plastic straws because sometimes you get a paper straw and it just doesn't cut it so I like to have plastic straws on hand. So all that kind of stays in there. When I had kids that were in diapers, I definitely would keep a stack of diapers in here with the wipes so that I was always ready. Even if the diapers that I had in my purse ran out, I always had 
some backups. Above our glove box, we also have this smaller one, and here we keep important paperwork and you know the remote for the DVD player, which we really only use on very, very long car trips. So just making sure that the batteries are fresh in there is another thing to set yourself up for success in the summertime. In this center console, I have a ton of sunglasses. These are all for my children. Sometimes they keep them in their seat, but I just recently cleaned the car and just corralled them all in one place. And I also have a bunch of these play packs that are just really great to have. I do have a few in my purse, but if you're like waiting somewhere or at a restaurant or something, it's just nice to have a little activity for them to do so you don't always have to give them a screen. Let them use their imagination and do a little coloring. And then in this section here, I always keep chapstick and I have the cord for my charger. And then I have a small container of flossers. These are just really great to have. You never know when you might need one or your kids. And we've used them a ton and I just refill that container. So all that stays in there. Above the passenger window, I also have one of these tissue dispensers. So I always like to make sure that that is well stocked too. So in our center console, we don't actually have any kind of real compartments that lift up other than this little section here. And we just keep a pen, a pencil, and a tire pressure gauge. So that's all I keep in there. So because there's no built-in storage, I just keep a little container underneath it. And this is where I keep any audiobooks that we get from the library. And this is just a box set that somebody gave us that we listen to. But if I have any other books from the library, I store them in here. And then I have a reusable tote bag, which again is great for the library to bring books to and from. And also, you know, anytime you just need an extra bag, I have it there ready to go. Underneath our very back row of seating, I have a few different things that are also definitely essentials for the summertime. In this large bin, I have a little bag that is actually holding backup changes of clothes for all three kids. I have two girls, so I have dresses for them because it's an easy one-piece outfit. And then a shirt and some shorts for my son. And then a blanket for if we have impromptu, you know, park lunches or just anywhere you want to sit on something clean. I have a blanket for that. And then we also have just our car care manual that I just keep in there. In this middle bin, I actually have containers of water and it's just good to have emergency water if, you know, just in case you run out of water, you're stranded somewhere. And I wound up getting these boxed waters because you're not really supposed to keep water in plastic in your car for too long because it can kind of leach into the water. Of course, if it's an emergency or you need to clean something, the bottle is totally fine, but I decided to go with the boxed for this summer. And then lastly, under this section is an emergency like car jumping kit. And I think you can also charge different things with that as well, like your cell phone. And then behind the driver's seat, a few more essentials, a small bottle of bug spray, a small thing of sunscreen, and a little spray bottle of hand sanitizer. Now in the summer, if we're heading out for the day, I always sunscreen my children before we go. And if I have my pool bag, I always have sunscreen in there as well. These are really are truly just like emergency backup. We weren't planning to be out somewhere and you know, we just are not prepared. I always get a fresh one for each new season and just keep it in the car. In this zippered compartment at the bottom, I have some baby powder, which is perfect for getting sand off of sandy feet and hands when you're at the park or the beach. It works like a charm. And I also have a little thing of wet wipes. So if you need to wipe hands or if you need to bring them into like a porta potty, you know, it's just good to have, you know, on hand. And then I also have an umbrella down there at the bottom. And then lastly, we have the trunk essentials. So in this bag, it is just all different kinds of outdoor play activities. I have some sand toys and we have a, just a bouncy ball. It could be a soccer ball, it could be a dodgeball, some sidewalk chalk for, you know, just having fun at the park. Or if, again, if you have to wait somewhere outside, it's just something to keep them entertained. And then for us, driving around with a potty seat is an absolute essential at all times. So thank you guys so much for watching. If this video motivated you to get your car in order for the summer, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, be sure to stick around and subscribe. And I'll be talking to you soon.
Take care, guys.